is on your appointment as the new Editor-in-Chief of Endocrine Related Cancer. Can you tell the journal community a bit about your background and what it was that drew you to apply to the role? Sure. Um, um, thank you very much, first off, for, uh, for having me and doing this. Uh, it's a pleasure to uh, get to meet everyone uh, in these electronic days. Um, so I am a uh, professor uh, of endocrinology, division director as well at Ohio State University in Columbus, Ohio in the U.S. Um, I'm a thyroid cancer um, a researcher, uh, basic and translational. Been involved with ERC for many years. I've uh, previously been an associate editor uh, and um, have been involved in many other journals, both in mostly in the U.S., uh, the JCENM and Endocrine Reviews also as associate editor. So uh, my background is, is in thyroid cancer and thyroidology, um, uh, as well as in uh, cell signaling and genetics and cancer metastasis, um, and uh, really have a fair amount of editorial experience at the associate editor le level and really excited to, to uh, take this on uh, in ERC uh, and work with everyone. Great. Um, we're excited to be working with you too. And following on from this, what, um, can you share a bit about what your plans are for the journal over the next few years? Yeah, I think the first thing is that ERC is in a really good spot that everyone needs to recognize, and I'm sure you do. Uh, you know, Dr. Eng and, and her team uh, and the Bioscientifica group have done an outstanding job over the last eight years. Uh, I think the reach and scope of the journal is really outstanding. I think there are some really uh, important important opportunities we have moving forward to extend the journal even further. Uh, some of it relates to the other societies that are involved with the journal, not just SFE as the home society, but also uh, the European society uh, in Japan and, and others uh, that I think are, are really exciting opportunities. Second is social media and visual media. I think we can take advantage of a little bit more with the journal. And the third um, is that I think we can really use the journal as a vehicle to support new career development and pathways, establishing early career investigator positions as part of the editorial board um, uh, for shorter periods of time, getting opportunities for individuals that are selected or requested by the different societies or individuals throughout the breadth of endocrine cancer. Sounds very exciting. Um, how do you see your how your research focus supporting the, your role of editor in chief? Sure. So, I, so I have um, again. I'm a, I'm a, I focus on thyroid cancer, but the breadth of the work that I do is really focused on two areas mostly, which is cell signaling uh, and the control of metastatic and distant cancer progression. Uh, all of that is very applicable, of course, across all of cancer. Uh, and I've also had a lot of involvement with cancer geneticists like Dr. Eng and, and others over the years. So I think there's a, I have a pretty strong breadth of scientific uh, roles uh, in, um, in science in cancer using thyroid as the model. I also share two leadership positions at Ohio State that uh, maybe give me some other advantages in terms of recognizing new areas of science that might be really exciting for ERC to play an important role in. Uh, one is that I co-lead the cancer biology program of our comprehensive cancer center. So uh, we have a lot of expansion and growth in tumor immunology, for example, tumor imaging, microscopy, uh, things like that, uh, that I think would be really important uh, to expand into. And I'm also the, the uh, co-director of a center for cancer engineering here, uh, where we're doing uh, quite a bit of work with structural biology, cryo -EM, and, and as well as organoid work. Um, with, with three-dimensional three structures. structures. So I think that that those um, that the breadth of that uh, should allow me to hopefully help with the expertise of the editorial board find really hot areas that are emerging uh, that I think would be really exciting for ERC to highlight uh, early on. It sounds like you're kept very busy at work. <laughs> Can you um, give us a bit of insight into what you do when you're not working? Sure. Well, I've got a uh, you know, great family, uh, fantastic uh, a wife and two children. Um, uh, the youngest is, uh, getting ready to start college next year. So we spend a lot of time right now traveling and looking for colleges where we can do it safely with COVID. Um, I personally play a fair amount of tennis. Uh, so I'm always uh, doing that, uh, several days a week outside of work. Uh, we do uh, a lot of hiking as well, uh, as a family and, um, believe it or not, I enjoy doing home repair type things. So I, 
I uh, hang drywall, fix bathrooms, things like that, redesign things, uh, both for ourselves and our neighbors. So I enjoy doing that, that type of thing as well. Excellent. Yeah, thank you. Do you um, just finally, do you have any other message, anything else you want to share with our journal community? Just that I'm really excited to work with everyone. I, I think ERC is really a terrific journal. It's one that I've published in fairly regularly over the years uh, because I respect the science so much that's in there. I think it holds a very unique and specific spot, both in the endocrine world as well as the cancer world, bridging that. Uh, and I think that you know the really critical, most important thing for a journal is to maintain high quality, high quality peer review, uh, high quality science that's going to be impactful. Um, and I think we can use that as a vehicle together to support career development as well as support each other uh, in trying to make sure that, uh, that endocrine cancers are really at the forefront of cancer biology and cancer research moving forward. Fantastic. Well, thanks very much for your time. Thank you so much.